what's up it's Haley welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today I have a big old thread up goodie box today and I am so excited to open this up I have no idea what's in here I haven't um, looked online I haven't even looked in the box other than other than to grab my price sheet which I haven't opened and actually looked at yet so everything is a surprise and I'm so excited I um, have done two other thread up goodie boxes before and I like um, the idea of getting mystery items that are secondhand. Um, they're a little bit um, cheaper and more in my price range as a young single adult. I don't have a whole lot of money. So it's nice when I can get clothes that are a lot more affordable and sometimes they're really great brands as well. So that's really exciting. Um, this time I ordered the um, trending styles box from ThreadUp. I'm not really sure if it's going to be any different than the regular box, but I'm excited to see what's in here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and dig into this thing and just excuse the noise right here up front. I'll try to make it fast. I'm going to set my box on the floor. Okay. All right, let me show you guys what I'm seeing. This looks fun. I see jeans. I see something green. I'm just, I'm kind of thrilled. Let's see what's in here. All right. So I'm just going to pick up this, this green thing first. Cause it's really, um, it really looks interesting. Okay. All right. So this is like a green cropped, like ribbed. It's like a little thicker than a t-shirt, but not quite a sweater. I kind of like this. It's from um, Urban Outfitters, which I don't own anything from Urban Outfitters. Um, it's my style, but we just don't have any stores around here where I live. So, um, I've never, never been to an Urban Outfitters and I, it's not a place that I've ever like really booked online. So let's see, this is the women's Urban Outfitters pullover sweater. It says estimated retail is $60. Um, and the thread up price is $18.99 and it's a size large. Really liking this color, so nice. All right, next, let's look at these jeans because they are calling my name. And oh, this hem, I love the, like the raw hem. That's not like, it's not straight across. It's kind of like that rounded edge. All right, these are from Gap. They're kind of like a, a light to medium wash. Very 31 regular, which might be too small, especially post Christmas, but we will see. Um, these are the women's gap jeans, estimated retail $80, thread up price $19.99 and 31. Um, I can't tell if these are, they're probably a mid rise. If they're a high rise, I will be thrilled. I'm not a big mid rise or low rise girl. I'm a high rise all the way. So we'll see what the rise is like on these. They do look um, slightly worn. Like they definitely don't look new, but they are in pretty good condition. So we'll see about those. All right, next, this. Halogen. All right, so it's a really long cardigan but it's really thin it's black um it has pockets I'm not a huge fan of this material it's not really that soft but um it does seem like it's made um really well this is the women's halogen cardigan whoa estimated retail is $119 thread up price is $32.99 and it is it is an extra large so I mean it's a good deal. Um, I don't actually already own a long line black cardigan, so this is probably not going to be something that I keep, but it's a, it's a great piece for sure. All right. Got something leopard print. Oh, it's a skirt, I think. Okay. Okay. So it's this like midi skirt. It's like this like, uh, fan, what do you call this? Like accordion fan? kind of thing going on. I like it. Um, it's a large and it doesn't have an elastic waist. So I have a feeling this is going to be too small on me. 
but we'll see. Um, it is the women's amp casual skirt. Estimated retail is $36 and the thread up price is $14.99. Um, it's got a little tag thingy hanging out, so I, it might actually be new. It may have never been worn, but it's really cute. Um, I just don't, I'm not really sure if it's going to fit, but <laughs> it's worth a try. Um, let's see. This thing is quite interesting. Look at this beading going on on this. Um, what is going on? <laughs> oh my. Okay. This is a medium. And also not me at all. And there's nothing. There's nothing on this list that's a medium. Um, this brand Forbidden. Okay. I don't see anything that fits the description of this top. So, um, interesting. Um, yeah, it's from the, it looks like it's from the, the, a brand called Forbidden, which I've never heard of. Um, and it's like very beaded. It's definitely not my style, but interesting. Um, we'll see if there's something missing <laughs> off this list when we get to the bottom of it. Interesting. Okay. All right. We've got something from Maywell and it's striped and oh my, oh, this is cute. I love this. Okay. So this vertical stripe, like peplum top, it's got this little like cinched sleeve thing going on and button front and it's new with tags. <laughs> So, <laughs> where are you? Women's Madewell blouse, um, size large, estimated retail $75. I can confirm, it does say $75 on the tag. Um, ah, jeez. They all want 60 bucks out of this? Right up, come on. I know it's new with tags, but for real, for $59.99? I don't know, I don't know about that. I do have some credit. Um, from a return that I, I did, did to throw it up at one point. So I don't know, I don't know, $60 for this, I don't know. It is cute, but that's a little steep. Throw it up. Oh, okay. Um, okay. This is, who knows what? Oh, it is a dress. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So it's like a like a crew neck dress. It's like a teeny tiny like nude and brown floral. It's got this like baby doll fit where it like has the seam right here under the bust and then it flows out. It feels like it's got shoulder pads. It's got like a little bit of a shoulder pad thing going on and it's got puffy sleeves, but I'm kind of digging this. This is from Zara. Um, it's a women's Zara casual dress. Estimated retail is $46 and the thread up price is $25.99. Okay. I see you thread up. Interesting. Okay. All right. Next, this navy number. Okay. Ooh, okay. 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 So it's navy. Um, it's got this little like, lace up thing at the, at the top, which I first I was like, eh, it's okay, but it's got this little ruffle around the bottom, which is adorable. And then it cinches at the sleeves. Now this is from the brand A and A, which is a JC Penney brand. And it is an extra large. I actually own some things in this brand and I consistently wear a large. So I feel like this is going to be too big on me, but we'll definitely try it on. Um, this is the women's A and A, a new approach top. Estimated retail is $36 and they're asking $28.99. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that price, but let's see. Okay. Ooh, we've got some velvet. It's a cami. Looks like a velvet cami, I think. Racerback velvet cami. It says keep away from fire. Okay. So I've got to be careful with this. All right. So this is like a gray, like silver velvet. Cami. It's from Madewell. This is the women's Madewell 
that's three Madewell things on here. Um, I want to say this is the Madewell top that's estimated $60 and the thread up price is $19.99. Yeah, there's three Madewell tops on here and they're all larges. So I'm assuming this is the cheaper one since it's just a cami. So it would be $19.99. And then, okay, here's the other Madewell. I'm not sure if this was the... I guess this is the one that says estimated retail at $85. If this was $89 and that other one was only $75, I don't know. I feel like this one doesn't feel as high quality as the other one. And it's not new. But this is another Madewell blouse. It's like a plaid tie front. I was all about this tie front thing like a year ago, year and a half ago. Kind of, It's kind of like fading on me. I'm not, not a big fan of it anymore. But here it is. It's some nice colors. It's more of a summery looking top. Um, I want to say this is the one that says estimated $89, thread up price $34.99. All right, and I think this is the last thing. Oh, there's a. Okay, that's just the return label. Okay. Like a little package, like it's like jewelry or something. Okay, this is brand new with tags J. Crew or something, which, okay. They are black jeans, it appears. They look quite basic. Now, they are new with tags, and they look to be a high, right? Look, they look to be a quite high rise. Um, interesting. Okay, so these are the Women's J. Crew Factory Store jeans. Estimated retail price $80, thread up price is $21.99. Okay, so that's these. We'll see how these fit. I don't really need another pair of just plain old black skinny jeans, but we'll see. I may love them and then get rid of the ones that I have. Who knows? Okay, so that is, I got the one, two, three Medwell tops, the skirt, the jeans, the other jeans, the ANA top, the dress, the cardigan, and the sweater. Okay, so this this thing is just an extra. It's not on my list, and they just threw it in here. So I don't know what's going on with that. I guess I'll just send it back. Um, or keep it. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't want it. I don't really don't want it. Anyway, all right. So there's everything. Let's go try the stuff on. Okay, so here is our first outfit. I'm wearing the ANA. A new approach blouse. I love it. I think it's adorable, but it's not my size. Um, it is very loose and oversized, and I don't think it's how it's supposed to fit. Um, I, I don't know if it's supposed to be this long either. Um, I mean, I kind of like it. Like, it's kind of a look, and I'm kind of here for it, but it's also $28.99 for a JCPenney brand top, and I know that this thing probably went clearance, and it was like 10 bucks, and that just hurts my soul to pay 30 but 30 dollars for a top that i know i could have gotten cheaper at some point um and it's not my size so i'm not gonna keep it but it is adorable i really really like it if it was my size and like 15 dollars, i would probably keep it um but here's the whole look i love the um uh what's it called where it comes in at the bottom of the sleeve because i have short arms and so they're not hanging off of me i love this ruffle i think it's so cute um but yeah, I mean, and it's hard because there are some brands where I am a XL across the board and there are some brands where I'm a large across the board and there are some brands where I go back and forth. So it's really hard to, when you're just putting in your sizes for a thread up and say, I'm a large and extra large, they don't know. So, and they don't, they probably don't have the items in front of them where they could be like, this looks big for an extra large show. We're not going to send it to her. So they don't know. <laughs> But I thought this was a great choice. I really like it. All right, the jeans. These are the Gap jeans. I am shook by the fact that they even got on my body. I got them buttoned by some miracle. Now, can I sit down in them? I don't think so. Probably the button will pop off. <laughs> I think I about ripped the uh, belt loops off trying to get them on for the first time anyway. Um, but they're, they're, I mean, they're fine. They're, they're great. I mean, Gap, um, makes good jeans and they, they feel comfortable. If they were my size, they'd be very comfortable. Minus the fact that they are 
either mid rise or low rise. They are definitely not high rise and I cannot live in jeans that are not high rise. So for that reason alone, I would be sending them back, but also the fact that they don't fit. Um, I mean, I can get them on, but they are very, 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 very tight. And I don't need jeans this color anyway, so they're going back. Well, dang y'all, I thought that this skirt was going to be a total bust and I'm obsessed. Like it got me pulling things out of my closet, trying to figure out how to style it. I'm obsessed with it. I love it so freaking much. I think it's so cute. I love how flowy it is. I just, I just love it. Um, it's a whole, uh, I just love it. I just want to spin around in, a, in like a field of flowers. Um, it's kind of different though, because this, this uh, leopard print is all brown. There's no black in it. And usually there's some black in it. And I would typically style a leopard print with a black top. So I kind of had to go a little different and I would, um, pulled out this green top and some brown booties and I think it's so cute. Okay. So, um, I didn't think it was going to fit. It technically doesn't. Um, I got it about 90% of the way zipped. Um, it's almost zipped, but if I wear a shirt over the side here, you can't really tell. <laughs> well, you can't, you cannot tell that it's not zipped all the way. And if I lose my Christmas weight, it'll fit fine. So I love it and I'm probably going to keep it. <laughs> well, this box is dangerous. Um, so I don't even have occasions where I have to wear dresses and skirts in my life, but I love this and I just love that skirt. And now I love a dress. <laughs> so, um, look how cute this is. It's so, it's just so flattering. I love dresses with this silhouette, with this silhouette. Um, I just think it just looks so good on my frame. Um, these puffy sleeves are everything. And I just love that it's neutral. And it just, it kind of looks fancy. And I'm here for it. Um, let's see how much this is. This is the, uh, it's 25, no, no, it's gonna be 26 bucks. So I don't know. I'm gonna look in my mirror right here. Yeah, I really like it. I really, really like it. I <laughs> pull my boots out again, pull out a different pair of boots to style it with. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Only thing, it, it does not have pockets, but it's really cute. So we'll see. Okay, so here's the cardigan, the halogen cardigan. That's $32.99. I just threw it on over the dress. It makes the dress not look as cute. Um, it's a fine cardigan. Like, it's, it's a good length. Um, if it's really $119.99 regular price, it's a good, it's a good steal right there. Um, I already have a black cardigan made exactly like this except it's soft <laughs> and it's from Old Navy and it was $17.50 so um, I'm not going to keep this one but you know it's going back to thread up so if you want it maybe you'll get it okay so I've been sitting here trying to make this top do something for me and it's not going to so it's it is what it is here's the velvet top from Madewell if I was in the market for a gray cami that was velvet this would be perfect but I'm not. And gray is not, light gray is not a color that I wear because this does not go with my skin tone very well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, no, it's not it. Also, the way this back does on me just doesn't really work for my body type. I think my frame is just too broad for this silhouette. So, yeah, it's not it for me. Um, it looks even worse untucked. Um, and it's also got this like, line right here and it's not my stomach y'all. That's just a line in the velvet. Um, it's been throwing me off when I first tried on. I was like, wait, is that? No, it's not. So anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to keep this one, but, um, I'm also wearing the J crew jeans. They are black, J uh, skinny jean jeggings and they are too tight in the waist. <laughs> um, they're actually tighter than the gap jeans, which are a size smaller, which is kind of a shock, but um, they are high waisted. They are above my belly button, which is fabulous. Um, they feel really great quality and they're new with tags, which is incredible. Um, they are a little long on me, but that is a common factor when we're going for skinny jeans for me. I'm 5'5", five five, but I have a longer torso and real short legs. Um, so I almost always have to get a short in jeans or roll them up. So, 
Um, but yeah, they're they're really great quality. If you're in the in the market for some black J. Crew jeans, maybe see if you could snag up this pair from Thread Up. You probably won't because they're the only ones out there. But you know, if you're lucky. Okay, so here is one of the Madewell tops. This is the one that is $34.99. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's really cute. It's flattering. It fits me. But I don't need it. And it's $35. And I just, I'm, I'm not in love with it. So I don't think I'm going to keep it. But here's here's a whole look of it. I think it was a great choice. Um, it's just a little bit out of my price range for a top like this. Okay, here's the other Madewell top, and thank God it does not fit me because I would want to keep it. <laughs> and now I have a reason to not keep it. Yes. Um, so this is a large, and I would definitely need an extra large. It's just these buttons are pulling right here at the bust. Um, and it's a little snug in the shoulders and the sleeves. Um, but it's really adorable. and But it's $60, and I'm not paying $60 for this. And now I have two reasons to not buy it. It's too expensive and it doesn't fit. So bam, I'm not getting it. All right. So here is the Urban Outfitters. They call it a sweater. I would say it's more of like a, like a, I don't know. I guess it's a sweater. I don't know what else it would be. Um, I really like it. I mean, what's not to like? This color is so cute. I mean, the only thing I really don't, I don't love is the sleeves are like really big. But I mean, that's just the style of it. Um, this ribbed thing is really cute. I like the length of the crop. Like, it's not insanely cropped. It's just, it still comes over the top of high-waisted jeans on me. This little seam thing down the back is real cute. And it's really comfy. So, um, I might be keeping it. The sleeves come, like, pre-rolled. So, if I wanted to roll them one more time, it really wouldn't be that weird. Because <laughs> they're already rolled up in the first place. So... I think I'm going to keep this one. Okay, I'm just going to do my recap right here because I just didn't want to have to go set up over there in the corner again. So, here we go. Here's our price sheet again. Um, overall, this was a really, really good box. Um, I was really surprised. Um, I think, I mean, I pretty much liked just about everything in this box. There wasn't anything in here that I was just like, what? Except for, except for this. Because it's not even on my sheet. But, okay, this shirt, I did try it on. And then I decided, and I, I filmed it, and then I decided, no, I'm not putting that in there. Because it was so tight on me. Um, but this literally reminds me of a shirt that my grandma would wear. Like, picking me up in the car line from school in, like, 2005. Yeah. It's giving me a little bit of nostalgia. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not something that I would wear. Also does not fit. So it's got a lot going on. I just, let me just go into detail real quick. Okay. So it's got this big like floral print and then it's got beading and then it's got this like ombre thing in the back. So it's really interesting. I am intrigued. It's from the brand Forbidden and it is 100% cotton and a size medium. So big mystery. Donna. Okay. <laughs> All right. So to the things that are actually on my sheet, um, women's amp casual skirt for $14.99. It's a large. I'm keeping it. I love it. I think it's adorable. It's that little cheetah print skirt. I am obsessed and I'm going to keep it. Um, women's Madewell blouse, $89. I think that's this one. Um, regular price, $89. It's $34.99. It's a large. I'm not going to keep it. It was fine, but I wasn't in love with it. And I have to be in love with something to pay $35 for it. Um, next, we have the Madewell top, which I'm assuming is the velvet one. It's a large estimated retail is $60, and they're asking $19.99. I don't think that's a bad price, but I would never wear it, and I didn't really like it that much. So that one's going to go back. We have the Madewell blouse, which is, I think, this one, which I love. I think she's adorable, but she didn't fit, and she was... $59.99. So, no. Then we have the Zara casual dress. This puppy with the with the puffy sleeves. I love her. I'm keeping her. She is $25.99, which is like a little bit 
more than I want to pay. But, I mean, it's really cute. And it was really, really flattering. So I'm going to keep that one. And I have credit. So. Then I have the J. Crew jeans. Those are the, the black ones. Yeah, these didn't fit and I don't need them. And I just dropped them on the floor. But they are $21.99, which is not bad. They were new with tags. So would be a great deal if I was in the market, but I don't need them. Then the A&A, &A, a new approach top. Well, I love this. I really wish this was a large. Because it was really cute. But it's also $28.99, which I just think is way too much for this brand. I don't know what ThreadUp was thinking when they priced this. I think that this... Um, should sell for about $12 to $15. So, yeah, even if it did fit, I don't know that I would keep it for that price. Um, and then we have the Halogen Cardigan. That's the black cardigan. It's basic. I don't like the material, and I don't need a black cardigan. So, that's going to go back. But it's $32.99, and the estimated retail was $119. So, really not a bad deal, but I don't need it. Um, the Urban Outfitters Pullover Sweater, this thing, I'm going to keep. I really like the color of it. It's really cozy, and I don't have anything Urban Outfitters, and I think it's kind of cool, so I want to keep it. It's $18.99. Yeah, we're going to keep. And then the Gap Jeans, they're also on the floor. Oops, but you saw them already. They're asking $19.99, which is a great deal for Gap Jeans. I, uh, especially if they were, uh, in better condition. They're not in the best condition. Honestly, I don't care what brand they are. If they're not in really good condition, don't really want them. Um, and they didn't fit me and they were mid-rise, so I'm not going to keep them. But yeah, so I'm keeping three things, which is really good for thread up because I've had boxes where I kept one thing just because I felt like I needed to keep something so I didn't lose my styling fee. So I am going to keep three items and I actually liked a lot of the items that I'm not keeping. So I was super impressed with this box. I'm actually signed up for a subscription to ThreadUp now. Um, I wasn't subscribed. I just kind of got them whenever I wanted, but I am subscribed now and um, I'm excited for more good boxes. Speaking of subscribing, you can hit that subscribe button and subscribe to me here on YouTube. I would greatly appreciate it and I will see you guys later. Bye!